Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. I hope you're all doing well. On the menu today, I have this delicious, when I say delicious, I don't mean delicious seafood medley. Stay tuned. Hashtag, I'm a big deal. <laughs> I'm a big deal, very, very, very important. For so the beauty of this dish is you can use any seafood that you want. Now I'm using some lobster tails, shrimps and mussels and also some crab legs. Now I've cut the lobster tails down the middle, removed the vein. Now I've done the lobster tails like this for it not to curl up. I don't want it to curl up. So yeah, when you do it like this, it won't curl up. I've also deshelled my shrimps. Now I've left them in the shell because I find that the flavor is just so much more intense when they're in the shell. And I'm also gonna be using some mussels. Now I'm gonna lightly season these with my Creole seasoning. I'm lightly seasoning these because I'm gonna season the pot and I don't want it to be over salty. If I need to add more later, you know the thing where I got added. Now you can use any seasoning of your choice that you know sometimes things that's suitable for my palate not really suitable for food no? so make sure you have a nice little seasoning that's not too strong that you can you know you can use so i'm gonna do the same thing to the crab you know just at the top there i'm gonna um just season it now what you can do with the crab as well if you don't want it um big like this you can you know cut it into chunks you know just nice bite-sized chunks now in a pan i'm gonna go in with about 20 grams of butter now if you're in the uk you know you have access to sainsbury's let me put you onto this butter this butter is my favorite butter by far it's made by sainsbury's you'll only find it in sainsbury's but may i tell us the butter nice let me tell us it nice it nice so you know if you're looking for a nice butter sometime for your dishes try that one now once my butter is heated i'm gonna go in with some crushed garlic now this is a lot of garlic as you can see i'm sure it's about 10 to 12 <laughs> you know quite chunky sized um cloves of garlic because i want this to be really really garlicky if you don't want so much garlic you know just reduce it saute this for about a minute then i'm gonna go ahead and add some chopped onions now i have a friend that you know every time she you know this is what she wants anytime she wants food from shells this is what she orders she call it a special sauce if you're watching girl you know who you are just thought i record what i'm doing for you and yeah so to that i'm gonna go in with two of my chicken bouillon cube now you don't have to use chicken you can use you can use this a, a fish um, cube or you can use a vegetable cube but i just love the flavor from the chicken i'm gonna add now two cans of coconut milk because you know you want this to be really really saucy i mean if you're not using as much seafood as i am then you know just use one tin now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna fill one of the tin with water and also add it i'm gonna go in with you know a few sprigs of thyme you know so we'll put thyme in at everything now i mean you can add whatever seasoning you want if you want to put a little bit of scotch bonnet in there you can go ahead and do so now for the veggies i'm going to be using carrots i'm going to use some baby corn and i'm also going to use some okra i'm going to put in the carrot first now once you start adding in your ingredients believe me this dish is this dish will not take more than six minutes maximum to cook so you know you have to go just move quick so once i've added the crab sticks i'm gonna you know let this simmer for a bit now i'm also gonna go in with some paprika what the paprika will do is just you know add a nice little color and i'm also gonna add some cayenne pepper for the heat not too much depending on your liking you know you're just not for balancing things for suit your taste board also going to go in with a few shakes of you know my little dry parsley this so and just you know try and mix up the sauce and i'm going to cover this and i'm going to let this simmer for about a minute and a half you want to crank your heat up you want to have your heat between a medium to high now once this starts to simmer i'm going to go in with my lobster tail at first now note i'm going to put these face down i'm going to you know so doing it this way it will keep the shape they will not curl up now after i've gone in with my lobster tails i'm going to literally let this simmer for literally about a minute 
after about a minute i'm gonna start adding in the rest of my seafood now as i said before you know the beauty of this dish you can add any seafood that you like you don't have to use what i use wallipa seafood or it just pick your choice if you just want to use shrimp if you just want to use crab if you just want to use lobster tail if you just want to use mussels but then it now gonna be a seafood medley and i said try other little thing you can throw little scallops in it you know look at this look at that look at this depending on what you like i'm putting in you know what was requested so yeah now once i go in with my mussels i'm gonna immediately go in with my shrimps uh, you know for the uk people them is prawn you know we're going in with a little prawn little shrimp whatever we call it with yeah that's something that eat we are going with then i'm gonna add my baby corn and my okra now my okra were freezer previously frozen but you know you can use fresh one if you have it on hand now once you put these in try and make sure that your shrimp especially is submerged into that liquid because you want it to cook quickly and if it's floating on top it's going to take a little while so i'm trying now just to push the shrimp down in and then yeah cover the pot literally for about another two minutes and hey baby we have arrived we're ready for the road niceness overload over here you can add a little scotch bonnet pepper if you want but you know it's up to you entirely up to you there you have it guys My seafood medley just ready just like that listen this nice meal quick easy when i say quick i mean quick because we don't want to overcook the things them and them get rubbery and tough because that nanga nice so maximum six minutes and you're done once you start adding in your seafood and there it is guys my seafood medley leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think about this dish if you do try this dish tell me what you think don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so now you know we have to make the thing kind of you know official and presenting and yeah so you know put it in presented it in a little you know the seafood bag and you know tie it up nice make it look you know like something but i'm telling you guys this sauce is so so good if you're looking for a nice little way to cook your seafood and you you know you like little caribbean flavor thing i go on you know you can try it this way look at that juice Mm. now you can as you see, so i added a little bit of potato a little bit of corn you can serve this with some bami mm -mm -mm. nice <laughs> guys thank you so much for watching and as i always say to aim high work hard but smart because the sky's the limit and only you can limit yourself catch you in the next video guys bye